like whipped cream. And, uh, recipe was really too easy. Was it should, too easy? This was too easy, yeah. It's not easy for you. <laughs> we, You know, we're out of time. We're out of time. Yeah. Well, well, we're just going to have to cut something out of the middle. <laughs> <laughs> On this show, that's not going to be hard to do. Welcome to another edition of At Home on the Range. I'm Barbara Venezia, and along with Chef John Crean, we're going to cook up something wonderful in the kitchen. What are we going to learn how to cook today? Well, Barbara, we're going to have Cornish game hens with some wild rice, uh, some... Uh, artichokes parmesan, a nice salad with some uh, Boston lettuce and mandarin oranges, and a dessert. Wow, that's and an awful lot in 21 minutes. Did I say wild rice? Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Is, is your it dessert is 21 flaming? Minutes. Flaming dessert, yes. Oh and, my goodness. But 21 minutes is plenty of time because I am the fastest chef in the West. Now I want you to hold that over there, over the, the range there, because I know the camera's there, and we can get a, get a look at that. Now All these right? are Cornish game Those hens. Those are Cornish game hens. And you know, these are a great bargain. Okay. So now, so to start now what with, have you placed on these Cornish game hens? There's some salt and pepper. That's, that's all. That's it. And I did some things this afternoon to get mm -hmm. ahead of the thing because we've got so much to do. Now, this is some olive oil because I don't have okay. cooking oil. And, uh, uh, <laughs> well, what can I say? Uh, <laughs> okay. And, and this is a stick-proof pan, but it, it, it always pays to put a little oil or grease or something on a pan because this is going to go in the end. Now, the oven is up to up to temperature at 350 degrees right now. Now you've preheated your oven. Yes, yes, and, and these little old guys are gonna go right on here. Oh, isn't that nice? Now I, uh... This is gonna sound dumb. Now I, but yes. But aren't these just chickens? Yeah, I don't know. No, they're, they're, they're fully grown uh, little birds, and, uh, uh, but they are, I guess, kind of a chicken, sure. But they call them Cornish games hands, so I don't know. Uh, now I've got, a, I've got a toothpick in there, and that's got the legs together like this, or otherwise, as soon as the heat hits them, they kind of would get like that, and that doesn't look very nice. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put these in the oven right now. The oven is preheated. Good girl. Oh, boy, look at here. Yeah. Now, How long do you leave these in the oven? Now, they're going to be in the oven one hour, which is going to be, be a trick because we're only on 21 minutes. We're going to make a glaze that's going to go on the, uh, the uh, game hens as they cook. And that's going to be made out of this. No, wait a minute. Where is the glaze? The glaze is here. No, that's not the glaze. We've lost our glaze. Oh, here's the glaze right here. So now we're going to put now this. Now, now you know the people worry about cholesterol because we're going to just turn the fire on under there. That looks like a lot of butter, but it's actually it's four ounces of butter, which isn't a whole lot. Can you substitute margarine for butter? This, this is margarine. Okay. This is margarine. This is. this is margarine. And we're going to have a couple of tablespoons of uh, currant jelly. Currants are like raisins. Uh oh, we're in trouble. We're in oh, trouble did that right just now. Go in the I think place? it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Currants are like little raisins, in case people don't so know. So what are they? Currants? Currants, yes. That's currant jelly. Okay, now here, you stir that around there. Can you use any kind of jelly? Well, the recipe says currant jelly, and by the way, the uh, oh, we're going to put the um, this water on for the for the wild rice. That. So now what we got to do? We just put those uh, game hens in the oven. But we're going to take them out now, and we're going to we're going to put some of that glaze on. Ooh. Okay. This smells really great. Wouldn't it be easier to have a brush and brush this? You know, out? it really would be, and that's the way to do it. And I've got a brush over in the other drawer. And when we uh, have that break that I was telling you about, I'll I'll go get it. Okay. 
All right, I'll just set that over there. Wait a minute, let me put it down. You can take it. Because we've got to put these right back in the oven. So we're going to cook those uncovered? Yes, just like so. All right. Now, we can just set that off to the side, and we want that big, uh, that big frying pan on there and put some, uh, put some uh, heat under that. And we'll use that spoon. And go ahead and put that. This is, this is pork sausage, a half a pound of pork sausage. Half a pound now, this of pork is for the wild sausage. rice. Okay. This is that's for the wild rice, uh, which is supposed to be stuffing, but we don't. We put it on, on the, just a, on, the, on the platter and the, the game hens on top of it. It's not a good idea to stuff stuffing in the bird like they used to. Why not? Well, because you can, the, the stuffing will draw bad things out of the bird before the bird has been cooked, and uh, it can make you very ill. I would think it's pretty gross to stick your hands in there anyway. It is, it is. So we're going to do it this way. This is okay. a better way. This looks more civilized, okay. John. And you still didn't get a longer spoon. A longer spoon. Well, that's all enough. The problem that you have with a short spoon is that the heat, it gets oh, too boy. hot while you're holding it. Uh, oh, boy. And you, I know you're you just going to say you, I'm complaining. you folks notice that Barbara is always complaining, you know? <laughs> oh, well. She's very pretty, though, so that makes it okay. All right. Now, how are we doing with our... Uh... It's cooking. Oh, great. Now, let me, let me just put this over here now. And this seems strange to put walnuts in with pork sausage, but that's exactly what we're going to do. All right. Now, just keep it going. Because you want that, you want to break that up all. Break, break that the, all up. So. Yeah. You're, yeah, fine. Terrific. Now, besides the walnuts and the pork sausage, we've got to have about a half of a medium onion in there, which we'll chop up while you're doing that. I'll, I'll you know, I think up. in every show that we have ever done, you have onions. Oh, yeah, onions. And very often bacon, because bacon and onions just give flavor to almost everything. It, Oh, you're doing... Barbara, you're getting better, you know what? This water is boiling. Oh, terrific. All right, now we're going to turn that fire off. And then this is the Uncle Ben's wild rice. Yeah, turn that down. Now, I put a couple of tablespoons full of... Uh, well, you don't have... What are you doing? So that the camera can see oh, what you're doing. Oh, 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 can the camera see this? That's what yes, I forgot to ask. Yes, the camera can see this. Okay. <laughs> now, this, now there's, a, there's a couple of tablespoons full of butter I put in that water ahead of time. Yes. And this is some stuff that came with the Uncle Ben's wild rice. And this is the... So uh, you've left nothing to chance. You're using a thing. pre-packaged... Not a thing. Stir that up, please. Okay. Now, as soon as you stir it up, just put the lid back on it and set it off the fire, and it does its thing. Now, all that rice is going to absorb all that water, and it's going to be all done. Mm, it smells wonderful. Barbara, we have to, we've only got 21 minutes. Okay, okay. All right. Gosh. All right. Now, you've got to keep that, keep that going there. Let's put the onions. Oh, this is this is a wonderful dish. This would be good. This would be good without the corny shame game hands. You turn Absolutely. The, turn the fire back on. Well, right. I was just it kind of giving cook. it a break. It, it was cook. getting too hot. Yeah. Well, you're absolutely right. All right. Now, very often, pork sausage has a lot more fat in it than that did, and and we well, need. Wasn't that good that it didn't have a lot of fat? No, 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 no. Nothing's good without fat. Uh, so, uh, so we're going to put a little bit of this olive oil in just to moisten it up a little bit. Okay, is that all right? Now, what we have here is the uh, uh, artichokes parmesan, and we need to uh, we need to uh, melt a little butter. I think this is done. Well, no, well, it's almost done, but not. It's close. It's looking pretty good. We got to break that up a little bit. Okay, now right, let's see what we got here. This should be oh wonderful. No, it isn't. It isn't done yet. Now when that when that finishes, we're gonna put that right in there. But you can you can set that off the edge for just a few minutes. Do you think this is finished? This well for the time being. Oh boy, we got a lot of fire there, haven't we? Whoa. Okay, now can, have we got a small pan over here? Well, we'll use this. We'll use Sometimes this. Sometimes I feel that you're not actually organized. I well I'm not. I'm not. I really I'm not, but uh, uh, now we need to melt a little butter in this. Uh, this is a this is a wok. We talked about that last week. Ooh, we don't use that. That's got stuff on it. Uh, well, did you get enough another spoon? Yeah, we have two spoons now. I can't believe. That. Yes, yes. It's only taken us four okay. or five shows. Boy, is that hot! How are we gonna get that off there? Okay, just like that. All right, all right, boy. Ew. You turn that fire down a little bit. That's uh, that's that's awfully hot. 
Okay. What's next? These are our um, artichoke bottoms. Mm -hmm. You know when they use the artichoke hearts and the artichoke leaves, they eat them, and the bottoms, there's not much you can do with them, but this makes a wonderful dish. It and does. they come in a can, I got those in a can, yeah. And uh, so we're gonna take, now we're gonna use our, um, our we got some chives here. These are, uh, I'm gonna fill each one of these little puppies with a few chives. This, these are great, but they're so rich when you eat them. This really? Dish. Oh yeah, yeah really, it's, it's a... Uh... Quite unique. Okay, now some pepper. Now, Barbara's gadget. I hate gadgets, Barbara bought this last week. She thinks it's great. There's something about it that she likes. I can't figure out what that could be. <laughs> okay. This We're... is an automatic pepper mill. I see it, yeah. Can the, can the camera hear this? I'm sure it is can. This, is this a sound movie? Okay. Now there's some pepper in there. But look how streamlined and easy that is. Well, okay, all right. Now, we're gonna put some... Uh, some... Uh, cream cheese. Cream cheese, how did you know? How could you tell? And is our butter is melted there? Yeah, our that's good. Melted. That's all right, yeah, that's fine. We're gonna use that in a minute here. So now we're gonna dip these little artichokes in, in the butter, just kind of swoosh them around like that. Do it over here. Why do, well, please, let me, let me get this done. We've only got 21 minutes, okay. Now Barbara wants to get this on camera, but see these are all these are all covered with melted butter now, and you wouldn't be able to do this, see, because that's hot, and uh, your little fingers wouldn't stand that that heat. Well, how are you supposed to do it at home? And I'm then? tough. Well, you're supposed to get tough, or you can do it with a spoon or something, because you'll have longer than 21 minutes at home. I mean, the old man doesn't get home home from uh, work until six o'clock. Okay, now we've done that. Now we've got a, um, a baking pan down there in the bottom. Right there. Would you give me that tin pan down there? And we're going to set that right here. Okay? Is that all right? Yes. Now, this is Parmesan cheese. You have gonna... water in that pan, you know. Oh, well, that's good. You need a little water. There's a little that's on the recipe. Now, we're going to put these in this Parmesan cheese. See, we're... we're... That's totally covered with Parmesan cheese. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Isn't that nice, huh? Okay, now, you know what we're going to do with that? What? We're going to put that in the oven with our little birds. Okay? Oh, look at that. Now, now when the birds are done, those are going to be done. Now, let's we'll bring this back over here and turn the fire back on underneath the, uh, underneath the uh, thing now. And now, you just keep stirring that up. And uh, we're going to... Uh, there seems to be some water left in this. There is. That's why we've got the fire on under it. We're going to cook that water off. And that'll dry it out. Right. Now, this is some tarragon vinegar. Don't were... show it to me, show it to them. Okay. Well, I thought you'd like to see it too. Okay. All right, we're going to put... What's that thing inside of it? There's a plant I, It comes with those it. things. It's floating around in there. It's, it's uh, some when sort of a plant. It, when you're finished with the vinegar, do you use that plant in cooking? No, you can't get it out of the bottle. Well, if you were finished with it, wouldn't it come out? No, there's, there's a third of a cup of tarragon vinegar there. I guess it would come out. Well, what would you do with it? I don't know. You're the chef. Oh, okay. I'd throw it away with a bottle. Now that's a third of a cup. Now we're going to put a half a cup of our extra virgin olive oil. Should mm -hmm. we do our extra virgin? Tell us about extra virgin olive oil, John. No, we did that the last three shows. I think people are tired of hearing it. Extra virgin olive oil is the first oil that comes out of the press before they put the pressure on it. Are we rolling? Yeah. We're okay. always rolling. Okay. <laughs> You're on yeah, the roll. That's, that's looking good. Now we've got to get the, we've got to put this, uh, this stuff. Oh my gosh, a spider. Holy ah! Oh, wow. <laughs> Where in the world did he come? We, we got to get another place to do this show. No. <laughs> I think right. maybe we should move now, to the high rent district. Now, a touch. This is, this is br brandy. Brandy? Brandy. Yeah, we put a touch of that. What happens to people that don't drink? Well, they, there won't be any alcohol because that'll all cook off if you'll turn the fire back on. I'm turning the fire but that, back just on. A, just a little touch of a flavor in there that really, really does wonders for that. Now, you're doing that, and I'm, uh, I'm doing the... Uh, what are you doing? I'm doing... I was just getting ready to put some... Uh, salt in the salad when uh, you found a spider. This is the dressing we're making first here. And that's uh, a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay? All right, now we've got the... Uh... Now you made this thing smell like brandy. Well, just stir it up. It's, it's gonna, it changes. See, that's the alcohol burning off now. Now this is watercress, because this is a, uh, 
a uh, watercress uh, salad. You see that watercress? Boy, you'd think this was on TV or something, the way you're moving all that stuff out of the way, well, Barbara. I, I want to actually see you what you're doing. You know what? I'm going to take our artichokes out of there because they are done. They are done. Beautiful. Oh, they're wonderful. Now let's just set those right. Well, do you want to sit them here for a minute? Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they gorgeous? Love and they them. are so rich. They don't look like as many there, but it doesn't take much of that. Okay. Now the dessert. Okay. What's for dessert? Uh, we have to have You're a pan. You're not going to start any more fires, are you? Try not to. We'll try not okay. to. Okay. Would you hand me that pan right there? Now this is simple dessert. A very no. We don't need a pan. I've got a pan right here. I cheated. I got. I put this in a pan this afternoon. Now what we have in this pan is a, a can of canned pears. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put the fire under the canned pears. I did open a can and put them in here already. Terrific. Now, where's our spoon? Here we are, spoon there. Let me rinse that off a little bit because that's got, uh, what's, I don't know what it's got on there, but it's something that we don't want in our dessert. Okay. Now, this is brown sugar. How much brown One sugar? One cup of brown One sugar. One cup of brown sugar. Now, this is going to turn into a very thick, a very thick syrup as soon as the heat gets to it. Okay, can you stir that now while it... You know, we're coming to the end of this thing already. Now we've got a salad, we've got our... Uh, we've got our um, wild rice done, we've got our, our uh, artichokes done, and, uh, boy, we're close. Okay, coming to a soupy consistency. Right. And there's a lot of ways to dish up salad, but I'll show you the quickest, easiest, fastest way to dish up salad. You do it like this. See? All right? We're going to take the birds out of the oven. Okay, get your mitts. All right, got the mitts. Got the mitts. No, before I take them out, let's do something else first. Oh, they look so good. Oh, they are terrific. We're going to take the, um, the wild rice, and we're going to put it on this platter. Now, we can't put it right there because this, is, this has got a flame going, so just let me, let me get that. And we're going to put this. Now, this is very rich. We've got walnuts. We've got pork sausage. We've got, uh, let me turn that fire off. We've got, what else have we got in there? Pork sausage, walnuts. Onions. Onions. Uh, uh, what else? I think that's it. That's it. We've got a little, uh, a little brandy, and uh, it smells wonderful. Oh, this is terrific, terrific stuff. Now we can get our birds out of now the oven. Now we're ready for the birds. Yes. We got that's all right, right there. Boy, oh boy. You know I can hear them sizzling. And you know what's a shame when we do this that we can't make some gravy with that, uh, with all that juice. See all that juice that's there down here. That would make terrific gravy. Okay. Now, we get these little get these little puppies and we're going to put them on our on our bed of rice here. Oh boy. Are they not looking good? They smell wonderful. All right. All right. Well, if you'd like a copy of this recipe... Why this are you jumping great. the gun? Well, I figured while you're... Why you're are you jumping the gun on us when we're just getting started here, hmm? See, we're going to put these out well, here. Well, I know that everybody would like to have this recipe because it looks so wonderful. But that address is so long, they can't get it on an envelope. <laughs> if I can get it on the screen, they can get it on an envelope. <laughs> okay. All right, now, now this is ready to serve. Is Just that, fabulous. Would you like to take it and set it over there while we, we do our dessert? I think we can set it right over there. Yeah, all right. Okay, what's next? Dessert, dessert, dessert. We're just going to do two desserts because uh, uh, why are we only doing two desserts? I don't know. Why are we? Well, because that's all the bowls we've got. I don't wonder what happened to these bowls. This is really going to be a heavy dessert, too. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. 
I got a little more in there than here now. One got more there. Well, you can have that one. Okay. Now, you want to set that back over on the stove or out of sight. Oh, those those cam those those chickens look so good. I'm hungry already. Now, there are uh, ice cream in our freezer. Now that is hot, very hot. The, mm -hmm. the, uh, the dryer. Taking vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. Why not? All right. Now we've got some rum somewhere here. Rum. Ah, rum right, right here. here. Rum, okay. Rum. And we've got a, uh, a uh, thing here. What are you going to... We're going to have know, a fire. Last time you did We're a, have fire. a fire. All right, now just... You now, caught everything on let's, fire. Let's get this over here, put this over here out of the way. That would sure make good gravy, though. It's too bad we're, we don't, don't need gravy with this dish. Because when this gets flamey, I want you to hold it over there where the... Well, why don't you do it over here? Are you afraid of this? I don't know if I'm afraid of this for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. But this is in Better Homes and Gardens, so you know it's got to be good. I think, is that flaming? Sure it's flaming. You can't see the, with alcohol, you can't see the flame, but that is flaming. Can you hold that over the thing there? I'll hold it. It is, hold your hand over that, Barbara. Now put your hand over it. Okay, I can see the flame. You can see the flame. Yes, see the I ice can. cream melting? Yes. Now that's going to be wonderful when that ice cream all melts with that, with that rum flavor and those pears. Uh -huh. It's going to be a terrific dessert. Well, now, yeah, shouldn't you put out that flame? No, no, you got to let it all burn or you'll get, have alcohol and in it. Will it burn itself off? Yeah, yeah. See how it's burning? Yes, I can see that. All right. So now, that's it. That's it. That's, that's the end it. of our show. Let's take another shot of our birds. They are so pretty. Huh? Let me hold those right over here where people can see them. You really get attached to this. Oh, though. I do. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That is gorgeous. That you is did gorgeous. a great job. Well, thank you, Barbara. Does this, does this complete the show? This completes the Are show. Are we done? We're done. Okay. We'll see you again next time. See you next week. Okay. Bye. Are you going to put flour in that? Boy, what are we doing?